All right, everybody, we're going to talk real quick about Doc Halo. Uh, Doc Halo um, was released kind of towards the end of last year. Um, it's a new way to communicate with providers, and that's like any, like it could be from nurse to nurse, it could be from nurse to physician, it could be, you know, nurse to PA, nurse to NP. Um, it's a secure way to um, pass along protected patient information um, to the people that need it, right? So a text message is not secured, so it violates HIPAA. Um, but this is a secure way. Um, you can actually send pictures through the phone app. They do not save them to your phone. So if you took a picture through the Doc Halo app and send it along, um, that is a secure way of sending images. Um, the, the one downside about the desktop version is you can't send pictures. And I know there are some providers out there that want pictures of things. Um, one example um, that I can think of is our cardiologists. Um, have been wanting pictures of like EKGs. So some of the charge nurses up on the um, seventh and third floor, the uh, 3HV, uh, are using their cell phones because they have it on there to, to do that securely. Um, so if they ask for that, you just find somebody that has it and do it securely. We just, we don't really want cell phones out a ton on the unit, right, for obvious reasons. But to get to it through the desktop, you're gonna go to the Beacon Health System tab. You're gonna come down here to the Doc Halo link. It's gonna take you to this little thing here. You just click the login now. Um, whoever the last person to log in on that computer will still, their email address will still be there, but you just type in your email address, unless it was you, and then it'll be there. And then you're gonna type in your password. And then I'm gonna pan the camera away because I've actually got one on here that um, is one I just wanted to show you, but I wanna cover up some names here. All right, so we're gonna bring this in kind of slightly. All right, so here, this was to Elizabeth Peck, who is one of our PAs with the cardiothoracic group. So had a patient come back um, from open heart surgery, and as we know, they always get post-op antibiotics. So we didn't have anything ordered, so I sent her this, like, hey, he's got a uh, penicillin allergy. Normally we give uh, Cefzolin, do we want it? We don't really wanna do that because he's got the penicillin allergy, so we usually just give Vank um, a pre and a post-op dose. And then I said on there, do you want one? You can call me at, right? Because what she can't do, and I'm going to kind of scroll back away so I can get rid of this. What she can't do is send me um, orders over this. So that's one thing that, like, I think a lot of the physicians weren't even aware of. It sounds like the hospitalists were not aware of this. That technically they can't give orders through uh, Doc Halo. What they can do is you can put your number in there, and they can call you to give you the verbal orders, and you can do the read back and verified order. Um, at this time, um, the and it's not, not Memorial, so this is above, way, way above Memorial, um, says that Doc Halo is not the best way to get orders. You shouldn't be doing them via that way. Uh, okay, so a couple of other things. I wanna do a new message, right? I'm gonna click this little guy right here. I'm gonna have a box and it's gonna come up too. So let's start typing in somebody that I have. So if I start typing in, I've got people like here, I can go to uh, Dr. Quaid. Um, and so it'll start bringing them up. Um, other things I can do is I can go up to this, the little bars here and go to my contacts. So all of my contacts are gonna come up here. Now if I wanna search somebody, um, I can search. Now I'll tell you right now that a lot of other hospitals, and I know St. Joe has used Doc Halo for a few years now, um, so a lot of these physicians that go between the hospitals were already on Doc Halo and in their system. So if you try to just search the Beacon system, you may not find them. So let's look for somebody here. Let's look for Doc. So Dr. Quaid and Dr. Schmitz both go to St. Joe as well, and they had actually been on Doc Halo for a while over there. So let's look up Schmitz, if I can spell her name correctly. Find, and there she is. So Leslie Schmitz, right? So she's nephrology, it says St. Joe Health System there. We, you know, we don't like them, but whatever. Um, and then we're just gonna come down here to add, and then it should show up over in your little thing. It may have to update first, but it'll be there. Um, other things you can do through here are like, you if you have continuous messages where we kind of just were, um, that's where your messages are gonna come back to. So a lot of people are like, well, you know, I'm sending one out and then I gotta keep checking the computer to, to see if they got back to me. Yes, at this time, yes, you do. I'm, you know, that's not the most convenient, um, but it is a great way to communicate. I'm, I'm saying that right now. The docs that use it love it. It's 10 times easier than getting a page, having it, you know, because they can answer things while they're doing other stuff. Um, you can see on Doc Halo when they read the message. So let's say you send a message to them. It, it shows that they read it, and then you still haven't gotten anything 10, 15 minutes later. 
and it's something you need to deal with right away. So we got to use our best judgment. Like, is this something that could wait and maybe they're in the middle of something and they'll get back to me? Or is this something that I need right away? And if that is the case and they haven't gotten back to you via the Doc Halo, then yes, you're going to have to use another mode of communication and then page them. So how do we figure out who wants to Doc Halo and, and who doesn't? So you're going to go in. And if you guys didn't know this, the medical staff roster and the allied staff roster are now combined, which means there you don't have to go to two different places to look up a PA and an NP or a physician, right? It's all in one. So we'll go in here and let's look up Dr. Koshelski because, you know, we all love him. All right, so Dr. Koshelski, his contact preference are Doc Halo first, pager second, cell phone third. And so cell phones are being listed on here. So this is that, like, I cannot get a hold of him. I've tried this first, I've, I've tried this second, and now I absolutely need him. Then you go to cell phone. So don't just be going and calling their cell phones right away because, you know, we all have things going on. Um, you know, but if you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need to, you got to use that critical thinking, then you may have to. All right, so lastly, let's go over to my power chart, and I've got nobody pulled up here. And how do I add Doc Halo to power chart? So this little bar right here, and I'm coming just from the main page. Um, I'm going to go to add, remove a, a bar, a button here. I'm going to go to add. And this top line, what you're going to do is you're going to want to call it something. So I'm going to call mine Doc Halo. And then I'm going to come here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that actual Doc Halo login. I'm going to copy and paste this link. So control copy back to my power chart and in here I'm gonna paste it so boom okay and then I'm done okay so let's just remove back out and as you can see I got this doc halo link so real quick I'll show you if I close down all of my open windows here I'm trying to do this one-handed and it's quite difficult bear with me so we'll close them down close them down All right, so if I were to click this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take me right to that Doc Halo login page. Okay, so there you are. So then you just log in from right there. So what it does is it's a way, a way through Cerner to get to actual like other websites. Um, and there are other things you could stick up here. I would suggest not putting a ton up here because then it gets busy, um, but at least like maybe one or two that you use a lot. And Doc Halo is one that we're starting to use more and more. So go for it, put it on there. Um, and you can easily remove it if you just go to this add remove, you, like you put something on and you're like, oh, I don't want that. You just gotta highlight whatever it is. So right now I just have the doc halo and I would just hit remove and it would go away. Um, if you have any questions, put them down below. Um, hopefully that has helped. And maybe um, my hope is to try to do one on the cell phone app because that is a little different. And there's some of you that are using that. Um, especially like our charge nurses got put in. Um, but again, if you have any questions, just let me know.